The Immortal John Hancock here, and today I got a unique video. I'm going to be focusing on this, and this is Family Connection, a guide to Lightspan, which was educational software made for the Sony PlayStation from 96 to 2004. It's pretty terrible, and in this video, I'm going to be sharing footage from the Family Connection demonstration disc, a very rare disc to get, showing you just how bad this software was. Let's take a look. So here it is, Lightspan Educational Curriculum, and what I have researched and found out is it actually started out as a PC software, and so kids would take these CD-ROMs home, and they would learn about different subjects and work on a Windows-based computer. The problem is, is that a lot of people at the time still didn't have personal computers, and so the curriculum adapted to work on Sony PlayStation and so it was huge and so there was over a hundred discs made for Sony PlayStation and they were sold in packages to school the the schools would purchase these modules and they would include manuals and you know they would focus on different subjects and the prices ranged from six thousand dollars to twelve thousand dollars was mar mass marketed across many different schools it started out and it was only in 230 schools in 1997, and by 2002 was in over 4,000 schools. That's crazy. The focus of today is I am going to be showing the Family Connection CD, a guide to Lightspan, and this is like a demonstration disc showing everything that they wanted to do in the schools. It is dated, it is terrible, and it's worth watching. I thought it'd be funny to put this on my channel, in its entirety as best as possible. I have a couple scratches in my PlayStation disc. And so here we go. Schools today are surrounded by change. The communities we serve, the kinds of challenges kids face, the demands of the working world have all changed tremendously since I first started teaching. But one thing will never change. We educators will always have to prepare kids to thrive. If we're going to keep living up to that responsibility, I think we need to change too. We have to take the best of what we've always done, reinvent it, and make it better. We have to find new tools and new ways of doing things. The Lightspan Partnership is working with teachers, families, and students to meet today's educational challenges. We're creating powerful tools that motivate and help children to learn. Tools that expand learning in schools and homes. Tools that will prepare our children for the challenges of tomorrow. happens when we increase the gravity by just five percent good now why do you think that happens there's a natural love of learning in every young child our challenge as teachers is to find ways each day to engage that part of them to nourish it to focus it on meaningful work so that it keeps growing for a lifetime Knowledge and skill grow with practice. Learning an idea and then applying it. Thinking critically, experimenting, solving problems. You have to give kids lots of ways to do that. You can't do it all with a chalkboard. Kids love great characters and interesting stories. Who doesn't? But we need to see more of the time kids spend on entertainment, spent on learning. What if the same people who make the best movies and games would help us educators make things that teach? Then kids would run home from school and keep on learning whether we told them to or not. <laughs> now that would be a big help. 
teachers and families need to work together to meet the needs of every child. When parents can see what their children are doing every day, it's easier for them to work together as partners. So, what did you do in school today? I adjusted my angle by 16 degrees, see? So I would have hit the meteor. Well, so look out, look out. So, so you used geometry to figure out how the rock misses the ship? Yeah. Hey, Nick. You did a great job on your history project. Thanks. You want to check out family activities? OK. In sixth grade reading, your child will find more subject material in history and current events. Powerful educational programming created by some of our finest educators. Motivating tools designed to challenge and inspire. An expanded partnership between teachers, students, and families. This is the Lightspan Partnership. Growing up, I was lucky enough to go to an excellent school with wonderful teachers and to get a terrific education. And I've devoted most of my life to education as a teacher, counselor, principal, and superintendent. I was academic vice president at Temple University and was appointed by three presidents, Lyndon Johnson, Jimmy Carter, and Bill Clinton to national advisory councils on education. When I went to school and even when I started teaching, the teacher stood in front of the class while students listened and took notes. And in most places, that's how teaching is still being done, because for the most part, it works pretty well. But today, there's also an opportunity to use technology to present some of these same ideas and information in ways that I never could with a textbook or a chalkboard, ways that really bring concepts to life and get kids excited about learning. The Lightspan Partnership is working with teachers, families, and students, using some of this new technology to develop learning tools that are truly powerful. The main objective of these programs is to help children learn. So the Lightspan programs start with solid educational content. They are developed to match the textbooks and other curriculum currently used in your child's classroom. So your child's teacher can easily integrate them into his or her current instruction plans. And they are developed by expert teachers who have years of successful experience in the classroom. The focus of these programs is on reading, language arts, and mathematics, the basic skills that we all know are so important for future success. One of the most important aspects of these programs is that they are flexible and can be tailored to meet the needs of your child. The Lightspan programs not only teach our children, but they also do so in a way that's motivating. So kids will want to spend time learning because these programs are as much fun and are as exciting as all the other activities that kids enjoy. And by repeating an activity, they'll master the educational concept and they'll retain it. And we all know nothing builds self-confidence and motivation more than success that sense of accomplishment when we did something that we didn't think we could do. And for families, Lightspan provides a tremendous opportunity to enhance what children are learning in the classroom by continuing that learning at home. Parents can see what their child is doing in school, and families can work together with this technology in their own living room whenever they have time. Lightspan also provides lots of ideas and suggestions for fun, rewarding activities that you can do with your child. As you work with these programs and see for yourself how your child reacts to them, I am confident that you will see these programs are truly powerful and open up tremendous opportunities for the education of our children. You can choose to see examples from any of our exciting educational programs. My children really love Lightspan. They love the songs. They love the characters. They liked interacting with the characters and with the, the challenge of it. 
The Lightspan programs teach vocabulary, they teach reading, they teach math uh, in a variety of different ways. Blue hat, four-sided head, triangular nose, shiny shoes, that's him. And it's very nice because the parent and the child can sit down and work on it together and they're both involved and I think it's just a good way for parents and, and children to work together and, and be working on something academic but in a more fun type of way. We had uh, open house and the first thing the students wanted to show the parents was light span. Why don't you tell me what's happening? Okay, I'll say. And it was so wonderful to see the students showing the parents how they could use it, how they were reading, how they were doing math skills, and it was wonderful. Click on one of the programs to find out more. In Stay and Play, children earn ranger badges by completing a series of language arts activities. Would you guys like to become rangers? Students build on their natural curiosity to explore things in their environment. In this case, the inside of the rangers clubhouse. Here, students are introduced to basic scientific ideas and concepts that expand their vocabulary and build background knowledge important for future science exploration. This poster assists students in organizing information and charting their progress. Cat. Cat. In this activity, students match audio to corresponding words and pictures. Number. They learn to associate written Number. text to pictures and strengthen their vocabulary. See if you can put the pictures in the correct order. On the bulletin board, students experiment with ordering events. They see the pattern in the life cycle of a butterfly and can extend that knowledge butterfly. to other patterns in their daily lives. Great! You got the life cycle of a butterfly. Students also get to experiment with scientific equipment, as in this activity, in which students view the moon through a telescope. Like all Mars Moose adventures, Stay and Play invites young children to explore and helps build a sense of wonder about the natural world. Whoa, Cosmo! Come back here! In Cosmic Quest, students must help Mars Moose get his dog Cosmo down from a tree. As they assist Mars and the shopkeepers of the town, students learn new words and practice processing and classifying visual information in different settings. Try the pet shop! This adventure builds students' awareness of environmental text as they read signs and labels around the town. In the pet store, students identify appropriate animals and move them to specific places. They use visual and written cues, learning to match words with pictures and developing listening and problem-solving skills. Put it to the right of the top fish tank. They identify words like out, left, bottom, and inside. In the world of Mars Moose, learning new things is a cause for celebration. At the pizzeria, children build their background knowledge by expanding their vocabulary with words associated with this type of setting, reinforcing the skills they learned at the pet store. Students' prior knowledge about recycling is enhanced in this third location where their vocabulary and experience is extended. As in the pet store and pizzeria, students practice directional words and learn about sentence structure. All the while, students are working to help get Cosmo out of the tree. The celebration in City Park when they succeed is part of the learning adventure. That's more like it! I'm Dr. Diggs, the museum. In this walkabout adventure, students help a paleontologist find bones to reconstruct a dinosaur in a natural history museum. Oh, some of his bones are gone! 
They must be in those three rooms over there. In each of the rooms of the museum, students develop a variety of language art skills as they discover facts about the natural world. In the Southwest room, for instance, your child will exercise his or her listening skills, sort a variety of clues, and follow directions to identify specific desert animals, choosing colors, shapes, or letters. F. In this game, students must remember where letters are located as they match uppercase and lowercase letters. This activity strengthens their ability to organize and recall new information as it is discovered. As in every Mars Moves adventure, success brings an exciting reward and stronger language arts skills. In the rainforest room, students learn new words and basic sentence structure as they follow directions to identify the animals. Is a type of cat. Students also make the connection between an animated picture and its real life image as they view animals in their natural environment. Wow! Tyrannosaurus is really cool! Yes, Through these was. interactive activities, the walkabout adventure years. shows young children how exciting reading can be. It was I can't wait to come back! Bye! Bye! I'll try Fables, poems, and riddles come to life in liquid books, where children are invited to exercise their imaginations in an engaging environment that exposes them to several distinct types of literature. The goal in Liquid Books is to become Ranger Reader of the Year by reading all three books. As they meet this challenge, students practice reading and comprehending written information. In Under the Pepper Tree, students are introduced to poetry and rhyme structure. They also learn new vocabulary, including specific animal names and book titles. I saw a play with a butterfly and wondered why it fluttered by. Listening skills are developed in an enjoyable way as students hear the musical quality of the rhyme. In Who Am I? students learn about animals found in various habitats. This setting helps develop a stronger natural science vocabulary. Yes, I am an octopus. By solving riddles about various animals, students develop problem solving and critical thinking skills. In African tales, students evaluate clues and interpret text to identify who is telling the story. One day he stopped and stared. What is this, he said. It falls down the mountain and sounds like thunder. Understanding the author's perspective is one of the key steps on the path to becoming a good reader. In liquid books, students begin to develop an appreciation of literature. They learn that reading is an exciting experience full of delightful surprises. Click on one of the programs to find out more. In the Guggenheim Tower, many learning situations await students. With six floors, the tower is an ideal place for students to explore while they learn how geometry is used in everyday situations. One room definitely worth exploring is the bakery. Here, students sort dishes according to the geometric shapes and put them inside the correct cubbyhole. Students look carefully at the number of sides and the relationships among them to classify the shapes. Flip. Also in the bakery, students flip or rotate cookies to match a model. Nine. In this exploration, Nine. they see that moving Nine. an object does not change Nine. its size or shape. In another of the tower's rooms, students explore the stained glass workshop. Oh, boy! In this activity, students complete mirror image patterns on several stained glass window panels. They learn to visualize reflected images and are introduced to the concept of symmetry. On top of 
of my head, the hat is red. In the toy shop, students use geometric and visual clues to find the correct dolls. To do so, they must devise a problem-solving strategy to identify and match shapes with their description. Great job! Designed to appeal to young students' interest in exploring new worlds, the secret of Google makes learning math an appealing adventure which your child will look forward to again and again. Wigsley's Castle is the home of Google's resident eccentric. Inside the castle, students encounter games and tools that enable them to experience the many uses of geometry in the world. Click the broom. For example, students use this shape pad tool to build a geometric key that will open the locked castle doors. When the key matches the lock... Here they learn to visualize, draw, and compare shapes. The door will open. This introduces them to the concept of congruence, figures of the same shape and size. In this three-dimensional environment, students experience math concepts in compelling ways that are difficult to show using textbooks alone. The power of multimedia allows students to see solid objects unfold in front of them, as with this cube. In this activity, students shoot darts to land inside, outside, or on one of the specified shapes. In the process, they practice identifying shapes and learn the meaning of words that indicate position. Many games have a help button which provides assistance when needed. Inside circle. In this game, students remember the location of tiles that match other tiles. They gain practice defining shapes and matching shapes to their descriptions. Okay, Callie, make a triangle. The secret of Google offers many opportunities for students to be active problem solvers and provides the practice necessary to build a strong foundation for future success in mathematics. Within the fanciful world of Google, there's a collection of fast-paced games in the ocean, designed to provide students with the practice they need to master basic math concepts. Students explore the ocean environment from inside the submarine by peering through these windows. In this fast action game, students refuel the submarine by identifying geometric shapes. This provides plenty of practice and gives immediate feedback, a powerful tool for student motivation. The reward animation is designed to provide encouragement for student effort. What has one five-sided shape and two triangles? Looking through another window, students try to feed a squid by identifying shapes and combinations of shapes in a natural setting. Using geometric clues, students search the caves for the sea creature that matches the voiced and written description. This exploratory activity allows time to develop problem-solving strategies and helps strengthen memory skills as students keep track of which creature was in which cave. Students are motivated to learn math skills when they find that math is an enjoyable problem-solving activity with its own reward. That's life in Google. Inside the submarine, students use their mathematical problem-solving skills to solve puzzles and recognize patterns. As a first step, they must gain entry. We need to open the hatch. To unlock the submarine hatch, students must complete the geometric pattern. In doing so, they gain practice recognizing and completing geometric patterns. Look! The door is opening! Once inside the sub, students can experiment with the control panel instruments. 
In this game, students solve a series of tangram puzzles. They learn to investigate and predict the results of combining basic geometric shapes to form a more complex shape. Students' efforts are rewarded with positive feedback that relates the geometric creations to the natural world. To open the submarine's periscope, students must remember the pattern of geometric shapes shown earlier. Once students have completed all the activities, ready to cruise. the this sub is, is so ready to cruise. It's just one of the exciting learning activities in the world of Google. Lightspan corresponds perfectly with the curriculum that we're using today. It goes along with all of the books that we're using, all of the programs that provide us with information on prefixes and suffixes, everything. Lightspan helps to bridge the connection between the home and the teacher and the child. You know, antonyms, what does that mean, the opposite of each other? Right! I think Lightspan has encouraged parents and teachers to work together because there's a common thread now, both at school and at home. Let me show you how. You take the highlighted word. The kids can't wait to get on Lightspan, and sometimes I have to hold them back. I think Lightspan has been a giant step bringing technology into the classrooms. Books and Mona and Moki's world is a place of contrast, including many in the English language. In this adventure, your child works with synonyms, antonyms, prefixes, and suffixes. Students also solve riddles and develop critical thinking skills. The Quaddle Family Mysteries is an interactive mathematics program that challenges students to use their problem-solving skills to find the answers from puzzling mathematical mysteries. In the case of the Scarce Scarab, students explore and solve mathematical problems related to measurement in order to find the missing scarab earring. And now, there's only one and this shiny button. Students will have to use their critical thinking skills to solve this case. No matter where they roam in the Quaddle Museum, they will find that P.K. McCaw is always available to explain how to complete the activities. In the Quaddle Kitchen, students can choose to bake cookies, muffins, or cakes. Following recipes from the cookbook, students find that mathematics, in this case the concepts of capacity and fractions, is relevant to everyday situations. Help in understanding mathematical concepts is always readily available within the games. One third cup plus one third cup equals two thirds cup plus another third cup equals one cup. Results are surprising, which makes students want to play the games again and again. As the plot thickens, students are compelled to continue investigating. Back at the museum's lobby, students weigh letters to determine if the missing earring is in one of them. Here students gain valuable experience reading charts, interpreting data, and calculating the correct amount of postage based on the weight of a letter and its destination. Once again, they learn that understanding measurements is useful in everyday situations. Can I help too? Students will have other opportunities to develop their math skills and solve mysteries in the Quaddle's garden, family room, and parlor, all part of the Quaddle family mystery's first adventure. You could even start right here, in this room. My students really enjoy Lightspan. Uh, it's very appealing to them. They like the graphics. Uh, they like the storyline. It's very age appropriate for them. Uh, they choose to do it when they have free time, spare time. When the Lightspan program Stratus goes into the home with parents and students working together, I see that there's going to be a lot of communication happening between parent and child as well as um, problem solving. So. 
What did you do in school today? I adjusted my angle by 16 degrees. The lifespan concept of parents and families and teachers and students all working together is a very, very important one. You want to check out family activities? Okay. In sixth grade reading. If students are using the Lightspan program at home with their parents, they'll be actually reading more. They're also learning about characters in history. They're problem solving. They're learning vocabulary. So this can only benefit their education. The Mayans were obsessed with time measurements. They developed a complex calendar which reached into the past and forward into the future. In the first adventure of Timeless Math, Todd and Maria are transported back to the ancient world of the Maya, where they must solve a number of mathematical problems to return home. In the search and rescue segment of the Maya adventure, students practice fundamental skills pertaining to fractions, decimals, and percentages. In the jewel pick game, students pass through the tunnel by selecting the correct number of jewels represented as part of the whole. When students make incorrect choices, they are encouraged to try again. In the rope climb challenge, students cross a maze of ropes by moving to the correct positions, which correspond to fractions, decimals, and percentages in the context of a number line. Once across, students obtain immediate feedback on their performance and have the opportunity to replay the game and improve their scores. At the falling floor, Students match fractions, decimals, or percentages to their equivalent amounts, represented by colored areas on the floor tiles. At higher levels, problems are more challenging. When students are having a difficult time solving problems, they have immediate access to instructional help. Stratus is a dynamic game in which your child will develop reading, comprehension, and vocabulary skills in the context of a time travel adventure. Through a chance occurrence at Ms. Stafford's house, four students are sent into the 1800s and early 1900s. I'm on a train near a place called Mud Run. Your child assumes the character of one of these students as he or she reads about people, then plays vocabulary and reading strategy games to return to Ms. Stafford's home. So there you have it. If you survived that, my hat's off to you. Wow. It just shows you how far we've come with educational games. You know, and as a teacher, I can definitely attest that the games have gotten a lot better. There's a lot better programs out there. It was a good idea, it just was poorly executed. Thank you so much for watching this long video. I wanted to try something different today. What did you think? Comment below, I'd love to hear back from you. And thank you so much for continuing to tune into my channel. I like to try new things and this is one of them. You folks are wonderful and beautiful. This is the immortal John Hancock. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. You take care.